Good morning and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and this is the let's play on the Le Bo Le Bo Le Bo Le Bo de map. So, um, I'm trying to give water to the cows. I, I thought this was the place to give water, but I can't get the water into that one. And this seems to be grass, I think. So that doesn't work either. And there's no trough inside. Um, And there's a trough over here. I want to show you where over here. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, that didn't turn out well. Mm-hmm. That was bad. Um Yes, we'll use this to get that one out. So that can there's no trough inside. And there's There's a trough over here, a yellow trough there, up there, but that doesn't work either. Just says it doesn't accept water. So I, I'm, I'm sort of at a loss here. I don't know what to do. Good thing we have our trusty wheel loader. So I don't really know what to do. And that's the slurry point. Um, the only other place to put it is over. I think this this looks like the water thing, but it doesn't accept water. Or I'm just maybe it just has a really sensitive trigger. Because this one does you can drive up to this one and actually get it unload in there, but you can't unload anything as the water is not accepted. And I can't really find that as, as a milking point. I think the only place it looks like it would accept water is this little thing here, but that doesn't accept water. Oh, found it! Found it! There it is! Oh, that was really sensitive. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm able to give them water. Okay, good. So I found it really sensitive trigger, uh, but that's okay. This is really slow on the turn load. We'll bring this one back home. Uh, we need to get those stuff over there too. But we'll See if I can drive more careful on this episode than last episode where I drove a little bit too fast on everything. That's not bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to crack the boom mic at, at the same the, the microphone at the same time as I'm driving. Not a good idea. I like this it has a really nice open cab. This this tractor. Looks highly um what we say technical. So we're gonna go and do some what do you want to call it seeding. I wanted by play as I said yesterday I wanted to plant some alfalfa alfalfa. I don't know why it's called I don't think it's al called alfalfa in Europe. It's called something else, I can't remember it now. But I don't think it's called alpha, 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 alpha. It's a hard word. So, um, let's see. What's this? 
I haven't even checked out all the places. So this is clean. And what's this? Some sort of silo. Active at farm silo. I don't know, is that, that's, oh, that's food, right? I think that's food. Uh, like TMR. Let's be, that's a silo. I think that's seed. Really need to close fix this one. Liquid fertilizer. I guess it's empty, right? You need to fill it up with liquid fertilizer. That's seed. Is that no that's fertilizer, right? I think that's fertilizer. And oh, why did I do the tractor? Sorry. Track this over here. Hello, dog. Up. I'll fill it up from the from the bags, not the bags there. These ones. So let's see, we're gonna plant I was gonna say four, five, six, twenty twenty eight. So how do you get to twenty eight? So I'm here. What's that? That's a plow. Could I get across there somehow? We have to go down here. We have to go down here. No, I don't like a good drive. The road up there, so of course. Go back. I wonder how you do the alfalfa pellets, though. Pellets. Which you can feed the two animals. Where do you do those? So thirty is up here. Here I think it is. So the fields aren't very big, fortunately, so we'll take quite we'll go quite fast fertilizing them. If I get up to the edge of them, that is. This is planted. It says cultivated, but it looks planted actually. Good with fertilization or oh, small fields like this, then I guess. As well, steep hill there. Um, So 
So, good. <coughs> Let's go back down to our farm. It says it, it looks like it's actually planted, but if you check the map, it says it's cultivated. So, I'm, I'm guessing it's cultivated. But we'll plant some alfalfa there and see how it works. So that was that and field five you wanted alfalfa on two. Four and five. So this is four. How do you get to four? Up here, I think, maybe. Well, this is a small road around everything, but this might lead to four. Yeah, here we go. Actually there was the entrance to the field. Should get like a GPS mod or something to to make this easier. Or maybe not. This is small field. And over there is field five, so that's pretty close. Fertilizing away. Um so alfalfa and we'll do some regular crops like wheat or barley I think to get straw so we can get straw for our animals um. Let's see there See if we had a GPS model installed, we could sort of see where, how far this spreads the spreader. I think in real life, the spreader doesn't really spread always even all the way out to edges. But I just I'm not an expert in any way. I did was I was watching actually um, Grassman. If you know Grassman's channel on YouTube, uh, very interesting. We're talking about. Uh, pretty um, planting onions, which was kind of interesting. I never thought about onions in that way. Headland first, and then we'll do rest. So it's five and then six there. You probably fertilize all the fields actually when we add it. Stop, stop. How do you know where? I'm not my e ice eyesight is okay, but I'm there. Yeah, what do you call it? And where you use your sight to sort of guess guesstimate where where uh, the edge of the spreading is. Isn't that good? We'll go across there because that's means less turns. The small pause there was the autosave uh, mod, which saves every five minutes, which is good. I didn't use it before, but uh, in when I started out, but then after I had some maps that kept you know, crashing the desktop on me, I sort of decided to run that always so always on that so this map I'm playing in a hard mode I used to play stuff on easy mode or, or the in-between mode but nowadays I always play on hard mode I find that most rewarding it takes a little bit longer but it um, is slightly more realistic I feel so I run thing I play this in hard mode so this is hard mode and you find that if you play in other other modes uh, the prices of stuff will be higher basically D 
just in case you wonder what difference is between hard mode and easy mode. Unless you already know that. You probably know it. the spot there should I go back and get it mm. some no I'm gonna leave it that's okay I'm practicing now I'm not being perfect that's good it's good to be perf perfect but sometimes you need to be just reasonably well I will go across here and we'll go Do headland around this field too. Number six, so I have number nine. And actually we should fertilize our grass fields too because there is an increase in productivity. I, I was running oak field um, or quilt farm yesterday and I have done a trial there on it on a field that's um, for I can't remember what I did how much I got off the field when it was um, unfertilized but after I fertilized it the grass field and ba baling and um, making silage bales so uh, after we uh, after I fertilized it once the grass field uh, I got 38 bales uh, that's uh, 6,000 liter bales. Um, then <coughs> I fertilized it. So uh, yesterday I fertilized the field three times. So of the same field that I with two fertilizer, two le no, with uh, two levels because you also one by default. But with two levels of fertilization, you I got um, I got 50 bales. So I got. 12 more bales of the same field with one more level of fertilization um, be it that I actually was exaggerating I did a lot of extra fertilization but so you can tell here I don't know if it is actually is fertilizing it doesn't always fertilize on all maps I'm hoping we'll see if it does on this map um on the oak field map you can actually see that you have fertilized the grass so I'm not sure why it doesn't see here see that here this looks probably more like it would in real life yes you can't really tell where you fertilized in real life by just looking at it I don't know if anything changed here. See, fertilization, soil composition. No, these, it doesn't matter on this one. But I can fertilize. See, 9, 11, 10. <laughs> these ones need to be fertilized because they are also fields which we're going to grow stuff on. So basically this episode is about fertilization. And it's been another five minutes. Yeah. It's good to know, you know basically how long you played by the amount of save save games. Save save sessions. No save sessions, the wrong word. So you have gate. It's odd. Sometimes you have gates, sometimes you don't have gates. I thought every field was like reset. It doesn't seem like that. This doesn't seem very reset, does it?
field 10, so field 11, that's a grass field. Uh, then we have field 25, 23, and uh, let's see, 1, I think, 27 also, right? <coughs> So I'm sort of always lazy when doing stuff like this, so I tend to stop. I do it and then I sort of go like, oh, I could do it without stopping or backing up and that sort of stuff. In real life you would do whatever it takes, but I tend to be lazy. This is where the GPS mod would become coming real handy. Because then you would see exactly where you sprayed. Or spread. Spray this no, it's not a spray. One more lap. So we can fertilize our, even though we have a bunch of fields, it seems like fertilizing them goes pretty far. Even though we're not very careful with fertilization in this field, we could probably get more out of it if we had the GPS mod. Sure, I should install that the next time, right? What do you think? this one and then we need 23 which is there how do we get to 23 probably up here somewhere maybe at the same point you get to field one hopefully no oh. well that wasn't it uh, over here yeah. And that's 27.2 there, so pretty good. This was much easier, <laughs> much easier to see when you haven't haven't anything growing on it. But this looks like it's planted, but they're not planted, I think. Not if you look at um, at the menu or the map. Spreading away. I went very fast this field. Wasn't that small, but I guess if you spread with like 24 meters or something, it will go by pretty fast. That's that field, and we have number seven. No, 27, sorry. Over here. We'll do headland first. Number one is quite big. We might have to refill our spreader to get that one done. We don't have a spray here, though. Well, that's okay. We don't have a tractor to pull the spray anyway, so... We could just use this anyway. Anyway, as, as when we have these small fields, I feel that we should should try to get them as as much out of them as possible. So we need to fertilize it. I, I rarely plow because I find it's very boring. If we feel up for it, we might uh, might plow a field or so in the future. But I rarely plow because I think it takes a lot of time, and I could spend the time on other stuff. There's some modded plows, uh, like modded cultivators that also plow out there, so you could use those if you wanted to plow out. 
without having using ordinary plow, but that's slightly unrealistic, I feel. So I, I just don't plow. There's seven leaders left. Let's get it one on here. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's go and refill this. And just cut across field number one. Because we come can come out there over by the farm. And we have a nice track. You can cut across fields like this. You probably wouldn't do that in real life because of compacting and that sort of stuff. So but we can do it in farming simulator without any problems. So and this thing with the speed, I don't know. Why do you keep doing that? It's like I hey Anders, are you learning impaired or something? Number four, we did, yeah, we did number four. Like, thinking if we spread on that field or not, but we did. I think the only ones are left are one and, um, 27. So I have, uh, the SOB mod, which, um, actually gives you big bags instead of these so we're gonna use those they're also kind of cheaper though, than these are we'll just pretend that they're another brand that's probably not as well no, no. Oh, sorry <sighs> the more realistic game engine that is why it, it does this and it's more realistic that's why it does it mm, I should be more careful I'm not. Not sure why. I use that pretty much on every map I play, even the the ones I play off screen. But then I don't do this place on. But um don't know why I'm never learning. Uh, then I guess next episode we'll start seeding. Also have the AI worker tool install AI vehicle mod I think it's called actually uh, I don't know if it works on this I worker yeah. maybe it does it does work on for instance the combine if you're using that but it doesn't work on all all mods I think we could do the hide worker thing when you're fertilizing too but this goes pretty fast to do by hand, so since the fields are quite small. And another five minutes has passed. Which means we're almost at thirty minutes of recording. I'm gonna stop there and do number one off screen so you don't have to see that. Um, and on the next episode, we might, I think we'll start actually, if not fertilizing, we'll start with um, our seeding. So, well that's the next episode. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. This has been the Let's Play on the Le Beau du Monde map. Farming Simulator 17. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit like button, leave a comment or share. I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.